Hey, Michael here, digitaltshirtshop.com, vlog May 13th, I think, Saturday, May 13th. Hey, day before Mother's Day. So, you know, I just realized I didn't even try to sell any Mother's Day Day shirts this year. I typically, that's something that I have in my uh, portfolio, uh, Mother's Day shirts, uh, Father's Day shirts, Fourth of July shirts, Halloween shirts, Christmas shirts. Uh, I've got a lot of different designs for all of those on my other site, but I haven't actually tried to make any of those for Digital T-Shirt Shop. Uh, it's probably a good idea for me to sit down and come up with some new ideas, um, some fresh ideas. My old ones, the Father's Day shirts, there's a couple that kind of do okay. And Mother's Day is actually kind of something that I've never really tackled. Uh, Halloween and Christmas, however, do fantastic. Uh, I really sell a lot of Christmas shirts. I really sell a lot of Halloween shirts. Um, they are seasons that, that, that lend themselves well to selling t-shirts. Um, Fourth of July, still sell quite a few shirts as well. There, there are a lot of types of patriotic shirts that can be made. Um, Valentine's Day as well. Quite a few candy heart type t-shirts and things like that. Um, but Mother's Day, I am just realizing <laughs> that I really don't have a lot. So uh, I probably should have done that this year. Right now it is just far too late to do anything about it. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. I didn't make any shirts. So um, uh, things have been kind of chugging along slowly. I was looking at the sales this morning uh, for the month of uh, May so far, I want to say we're up to about 12 shirts. So that is uh, Amazon and Etsy combined. So there really are not a lot of sales coming in. Uh, recapping, I do have my sister-in-law helping add shirts to Etsy. Uh, I think she's been she's added probably a dozen a dozen shirts so far. Uh, from the lit, I gave her about 50 shirts to add. Uh, I've been in turn adding them to Amazon. Uh, I know I was adding some last night before I went to bed and and maybe have added 20 or 30 to Amazon since uh, I kind of got the same list ready for my sister-in-law to add. Um, you know, so we're getting some more products on there. Hopefully the more products, the additional products will help translate into some additional sales. Uh, I've been kind of thinking of some other things out there that, God, you, you know, I, you got to write those ideas down when you have them. I had actually a great idea last night for some shirts, and it's killing me because I can't remember exactly what the idea was. Hopefully it comes to me again. Uh, I do, I, I usually have my little sketchbooks and things like that, and I'll write things down, and for some reason I didn't write it down last night, and, but I, God, I thought it was a great idea. Um, uh, you know, d d some sort of pop culture saying that was, uh, seemed as though it would be really funny and popular. Oh, you know what I think, I think that it was, uh, and it's probably stupid. What I, I think I just remembered what it was. I was going to make, I was going to make lip syncing shirts, shirts about doing lip syncing. I don't know why. I, I... <sighs> It's kind of hard because lip syncing and karaoke, I, I guess I always think of, you know, karaoke as going and singing karaoke at a karaoke bar. I don't drink, so I don't go to bars. And and so singing karaoke in a karaoke bar and making a t-shirt for it isn't like the thing that I would necessarily make a t-shirt about. So I don't necessarily plan on making, sing at a bar, I'm drunk, karaoke t-shirts, but lip syncing t-shirts. Oh, and you know what actually inspired it? There's a great new little video by Studio C. If you haven't uh, ever watched Studio C, uh, they have a new lip syncing video and my daughter absolutely loves it. And so I've watched it with her probably 30 or 40 times in the last week. Um, but they do a lip sync battle in the car and it is just absolutely hilarious. So Anyhow, I, I, that's, I, I think that's what it was, is I was going to make some shirts that had some lip sync phrases on them. Um, maybe it seems funny to me and it seems like a good idea to me. I could possibly never even sell one. Uh, but it, 
it might be worth a try to try it. Maybe somebody's always been dreaming of that perfect karaoke phrase t-shirt to buy and I might make it for them. So the, the one shirt sale that I'll get from it. So hopefully it does better than that. So anyways, um, uh, if you like what you're hearing on Digital T-Shirt Shop, I encourage you to subscribe, like the video, subscribe, uh, and you'll get our videos as they come out again, what Digital T-Shirt Shop is doing. Uh, I'm a, I, I'm, I've started a business, digitalt-shirtshop.com, and Digital T-Shirt Shop on Etsy and on Amazon, and what we're trying to do is show what it's like to run a business. Uh, you know, what type of time does it take? What type of resources does it take? How much money do you make? And now I've, I've got some constraints on my business and the way that I'm, uh, I've started it and I'm running it and where I'm focusing my efforts. Uh, primarily, I'm focusing my efforts on social media, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and I need to be more dedicated at getting those posts put on Instagram and Facebook, Pinterest, uh, and then... Uh, focusing on Amazon and Etsy sales with my own designs rather than going out and uh, trying to get community designs from businesses and sports teams and all those types of things. So, uh, But can we make a profit? Can we turn a profit? So far we're in the hole and we're trying to get out of the hole. we got to sell a whole lot more t-shirts to get out of the hole. A whole lot more than the 12 I told you about that we've sold this month so far. I think we've got to uh, probably double or triple that to get out of the hole. Um, but, you know, it's it's just to show what it's like to start a business. It's not easy. It's not as easy as people think. You just start a business and everybody starts buying your stuff like crazy. Uh, sometimes that does happen. It really does. Sometimes you make the perfect product. You got the perfect business. You got the perfect name. You've got the perfect things in place that all work right. And your business shoots the moon within a month or two. But it doesn't always happen that way. And in my case, and as you can see with the way this is going, it really hasn't done that yet. Uh, now, we are only three months into it. We've gone January uh, 28th, I think, is when we started it. We're into the roughly the middle of May, so we're about three and a half months in, actually. Um, you know, we're trying to see by, the, uh, by a year's time, where are we in a year's time? And the goal is 20 shirts a day. 20 shirts a day, we would be making a, a substantial profit. Uh, as it is right now, we're selling about one shirt a day. So we've got a long ways to go. So anyhow, there we go. Uh, there's an update on digitaltshirtshop.com. Uh, again, if you like what you've been seeing, subscribe, like the video. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye.